In this problem, we have to solve this trigonometric equation. So we have 2 sine x plus 1 equals 0. And x here is between 0 and 2 pi. So in this case, uh, all we have to do is isolate the sine x. So we'll start by subtracting 1 from both sides. So minus 1, minus 1. That puts us at 2 sine x equals negative 1. We're almost there. Uh, to finish solving for sine, we simply have to divide by 2. So divide by 2, divide by 2. And so we have that the sine of x is equal to negative 1 half. So now we have to uh, think back to some trig knowledge. When you look at negative 1 half, you really want to think about 1 half and ask yourself, what is the angle such that the sine of that angle is 1 half? So from memory, we know that the sine of pi over 6 is equal to 1 half. So the sine of any angle that has a reference angle of pi over 6 is going to be 1 half or it's going to be negative 1 half. So now we have to think about the unit circle and think about all of the other angles that have a reference angle of pi over 6 that will give us a negative. So let's think about that. So if it's going to be negative, Remember that sine is the y coordinate on the unit circle. That means the angle has to be down here and it has to be down here. So we're looking for angles here because sine is the y coordinate on the unit circle. And these are angles whose reference angle is pi over 6. So this is pi and this is 2 pi. So if you want a reference angle of pi over 6 down here in quadrant 3, what you need to do is you need to add pi over 6. So think of pi as 6 pi over 6. And so the first angle we want would be this one. 6 pi over 6 plus pi over 6 will give us 7 pi over 6. So x equals 7 pi over 6 is one of our answers. The other angle is over here in quadrant 4. So again, think of 2 pi as a number over 6. So 12 pi over 6. So if you take 12 pi over 6, and you want this angle here to be pi over 6, that's our reference angle, then you need 11 pi over 6. You just subtract. So 11 pi over 6. So the other answer to this problem would be 11 pi over 6. And that's it. I hope this video has been helpful.